And there we are, Team Germany on the bottom in blue, France in red. And let's see, it looks like France has won the coin flip yep, and they have they decided to go with Snake. I mean, you know, I think when you're uh, in a okay, losing position... Okay, they're taking it serious now. They were like, yeah. oh, we're going to play around with this Tri-Brigade deck of ours. But now that we are down one game, we are going to whip out the Snake Eye Ash. Grabbing the Poplar, not being med with a Maxi. At this point, there, there's no reason for Team Germany to hold that in their hand anymore. There's some arguments sometimes to not throw it on an open field because of that side frame gear gamma that we saw earlier. But uh, when the Poplar is being triggered in hand, you would be using it. So they're not going to face that here. Also didn't face a single form of interruption on the Snake Eye Ash normal summon. So Team France is looking good here and maybe we can see the uninterrupted sort of uh, field that they are going to be trying to make with the Snake Eye deck. And we're also going to see if they if they practiced any sort of ways to maybe play through something like in the Biru, the Primal Being. We already see the first step here by grabbing yeah. the field spell with the Poplar instead of mm -hmm. the Sinful Spoils original spell. You're kind of saying like, hey, um, I'm not going to go for the Jet Synchron lines. But I'm going to be safe from Nibiru the Primal Being, which is worth something. Unless they drew the, the spell, of course, then forget what I said. <laughs> there it is. There is access to it Seeker as well. So, I mean, this is obviously the best case scenario. If you go uninterrupted on your Snake Eye Ash and you have access to Diabell Star, then obviously, I mean, the, the world's your oyster. You just get to do um, all the things. You get to play around the Nibiru the Primal Being. You get to set up your Synchro plays if that's what they're choosing to do. We don't know. We haven't seen the Jet Synchron out of Team France just yet. It's just what I'm assuming is going to happen. Yeah, so the setting of the original Sin can go for the uh, special summon of Jet Synchron from yes. the deck. Uh, and I've definitely seen, you know, some uh, involvement of things like Savage Dragon yeah, quite this early. is what you would normally do here is you send the Link Karibo so that you have a Link Monster in the graveyard early for the Savage Dragon to get a counter. And that would basically be... That's basically like saying, like, hey, if you have an Nibiru, the Primal Being... This is it. You yeah. have to use it here or after the Savage hits the field. You can you can wait for it because it only gets the, the ability to negate something after it's equipped something to it. So, like, you can on summon use the Nibiru. Um, but even if you do, right, I still get to bring back the Flamberge from my Spell and Trap Zone with the Divine Temple. But no, the, uh, the Savage just gets to equip the Link Karibo here. And that means that Team France now has a, um, a negate at their hands. And this is very cool. This is a very cool thing about uh, Bold Savage Dragon in this particular strategy. You can send the equipped Link Karibo for your Snake Eye effects. Yeah, it's free and it just keeps you, the Boral Load token the for the uh, counter. The negate rather. is not tied to the equip spell. Like that, because you can see on the Boral Load, it still has the counter. So it still has the ability to negate a card. It just doesn't have that attack points bonus anymore, but that's definitely the least important part about that effect. Yeah, so this is essentially a two and a half card combo. Uh, specifically, Ash plus Wanted gives you this line yeah, here. Exactly. So and this, this is like, the, it's, it's really, really strong if you draw those two cards together because you get to play through multiple hand traps. You even get to ignore something like Nibiru if it's the only one that they have. And you get to end on a pretty impressive field, which it looks like they've practiced their... Snake Eye combos pretty well here from Team France. Um, that is definitely the way you're supposed to start off this two, this two card combination. So I wonder how much time they put in uh, to to practice these sort of lines. And then my question number two is: If you've put in all this time to learn these lines, why was there a Tribal Gate Fractal in round one? Because uh, he's just great, you know. Like <laughs> this is really that simple. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the um, real meta call that deck really offers you is. I mean, removal is quite good, right? Banishing cards yeah, with Shurik is nice, I, I suppose. I'm, but I'm curious about this because I was like, when I saw them doing this, I was like, okay, they're out here to represent like the the more like rogue strategies, the more unconventional decks, and now they're just showing up to to their next round with uh, with Snake Eye, which after their after how they started this tournament, I, I wasn't expecting to do this, but. Here we are. Yeah, so uh, Formula Synchron, uh, as mentioned, this is where you set up your Divine Temple. Uh, probably going to link that off for a Mascarena, uh, and then go for the mm -hmm. Princess, bring back the Flamberge, and yep. then scale either the Mask or the Formula Synchron. Can you end on both? Formula and Mask? Um, there you can, is, right? you can, you can, but then... Um, You're going to need something like a Birch, I think, for uh, the next, another body. You need more extension here. Yeah. Like just with this, you don't have the ability to go to put both into your spell and trap zone, right? You would have to have, you have, we do have to, you'd have to keep one of them around essentially, mm -hmm. right? Because 
Um, you cannot place a formula and an IP Mascarena into your spell and trap zone because you only get to use the Flambush effect once for that. So if you can either, either you can just keep an IP Mascarena on the board or the formula on the board, then you can afford to end on both. So the formula is being linked off into Promethean Princess and we have not made an IP Mascarena in between. So this is just going to bring yeah. back the Flambush. And this is interesting because in this setup, um, they I... are not getting rid of the Promethean Princess on their field right now, which makes it not possible to summon out the formula with the Flamberge. At uh, the same... Oh, no, the Jet Synchron allows them to do it. I was going to say... you. Oh, they play Subversion. Play... Oh, that's interesting. Especially in a best-of-one scenario, that's interesting. Yeah, Subversion acting as a nice little tech, I suppose. It's, it's a one pretty of the, cool uh, removal spell. Yeah, it just targets a monster and just puts it in the scale. like uh, Which is very Flamberge. unique. Like You avoid all sort of, like, if this card is destroyed, if this card is banished, if this got sent to the graveyard. You avoid all of that. And we still get the draw here from the uh, recycling ability of the Wanted. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so just for clarification, what we have here is we have the destruction effect of the princess tied in with the Amblo Whale, the special summon of the formula synchron on the opponent's turn, a savage negate, the formula synchron quick synchroing with the Flamberge into Baron, and then yep. the Flamberge body bringing back three monsters from the graveyard because typically, yeah. uh, typically Oak is your target there. So, and that also gets you follow up. So this yep. is huge. Uh, we'll see if Team Germany is playing any sort of field breaking abilities here as we opened no disruption for that entire combo. Exactly, which is very unusual in this sort of deck because uh, uh, unless they swap decks around, um, yeah, that is the, the, it, their Snake Eye deck is probably on a decent amount of interruptions on the opponent's first turn, but uh, this one uh, did not either, either unlucky that they didn't see any or maybe they swapped to a different deck that we're not expecting right now. I think this is one of the best things about Snake Eye, right? There isn't like one single card that completely completely shuts you down, right? Yep. Um, I think e even something like Dimension Shifter, we've seen uh, we've seen people play through that, right? Yeah, and I think most iconically, ways. we watched the the UDS. Remember when Shunping yep. played through Shifter <laughs> uh, evenly? He was playing that some was, very uh, wild stuff. That was there for, order to for do sure. That. Yeah, he was definitely he was he was on like what was it parallel exceed yeah. to get uh, to like link one into link Karibo and then be able to summon some uh, free level fours. So yeah, point being is like Snake Eye, you know, it's it's so resilient. Even it's, it's very versatile in terms of the the tech options you have available because it doesn't like uh, it doesn't lock you into anything. It doesn't exclude you from playing any sort of card or mechanic that you want to access. Um, because the only the only thing that has some sort of restriction on what you can do is the Promethean Princess, and that only applies while it's face up. So curious about the uh, special summon of the. Okay, wow, we are going to. So I was just wondering, do you think we've done? this a little early here maybe feeding into a talents or thrust quite soon when we didn't maybe need to like, i mean do we do have, so quickly we do have two ways to to stop a potential talents here with the savage or the bear and the fleur that's going to hit the board any second now um i think the biggest reason to use the flamberge quote unquote early is the fact that while you still have the formula in your spell and trap zone while you haven't synchroed into the baron you can't afford to use the Promethean Princess because while when as soon as you brought the Promethean Princess back, you're locked into fire on your opponent's turn, so you can't summon out the formula, can't summon the Baron. So you wanna get that um, you wanna get that synchro out of the way as fast as possible to make sure the Promethean Princess can be used whenever you want to. I'm gonna make a call really early, a little prediction here. Can mm -hmm. you guess what it is? I want you to pay attention to the Baron zone. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if uh, we... Mm -hmm. we that little... is something that could definitely come back to bite Team France because they have played into the relinquished anima zone. We'll see if... Uh, Their setup is out. pretty strong, though. This is strong, I, I would, yeah. I'd go out on a limb and say that they probably have the means to still deal with that, but it is a slightly dangerous thing that you should be... At least mindful of when you're playing. Okay, oh. all right, <laughs> all right. That's a lot. You know when you just do like full combo like this, and then you also back it up with a maxi. That's it's... my favorite part about maxi when it makes games <laughs> that, um, you know, games are that... about to be very interactive potentially. Um, just, uh, it's very important. Yeah. Uh, if we have a top deck ash ball, so call by is huge. It's, it's really strange, I mean, right? Just, it forces the Baron or the Savage. I, it's, okay. it's, it's odd though, right? It's like such a strange paradox because 
I, in this situation, I would be kind of scared, right? Because it's like, well, Germany hasn't opened any disruption from the hand. And they do let they it do, resolve. Right, they see do what I mean, it, right? Yeah, no, I, I don't hate that, actually. I don't hate that. Because I was about to say... already in a good position, you know? I, yeah, I was about to say, like, if they, if they use one of their negates on it, um, maybe there's a way that Team Germany can just, like, push through, try to uh, put out enough damage on one turn. And ignore the amount of cards that they give Team France, depending on which cards Team France is playing, obviously. But Bell discard Bell is not ideal. But it doesn't really it's matter. Something. What pitch. Like the, the deck doesn't have a great uh, quote unquote send for Diabell Star that just get, generates you card advantage. So in that sense, you're just happy if you have any any disposable card in your in your deck. All right, and we have the Vine Temple onto the Poplar. All right, so we should be able to uh, listen into Team Germany momentarily as they are figuring out how to play through this. We've just had confirmation from production. I promise you, uh, this will be the uh, <laughs> this will be the one here. Uh, effect Valor, another hand trap yeah, coming down scratch here. Scratch that idea of of just pushing through this. Okay, that resolves. No further uh, disruption there. Korika. <laughs> So yeah, uh, France has set up quite a field here, you know, and uh, backed up with those disruptions from the hand. Uh, it's so strong. Getting a subversion, I mean, I guess they must already have everything they need from the Poplar for the follow-up turn here. Germany gonna need something powerful, like, okay, normal summon Jet Synchron. That is... Uh, not exactly the most powerful normal summon, let's say it like that. Yeah, it's not ideal. Um, Hita maybe to try and pull something out here. Hita is pretty cool because if even if it does get destroyed they and negated by the Baron, it still gets to search. But and we did uh, one way summon. around it would be to use the Savage on it Princess because Savage they they, just they, negates, uh, it does they, they, not destroy. They, they, so that they, would be they, one way they, to they, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, has they Baron they been used? Not yet, right? No, they no, haven't used it. Yeah, so it's like so. it's now at the moment it's two cards in hand and for Team Germany against the Baron and the Savage. So it's pretty tough. This Hita needs to carry some weight. But yeah, the uh, biggest does problem is that you can bring um, back. If you let this go I mean, it takes through, their, you're just um, at risk of having some like potential three that can exactly. force something yeah. out. They, they, or, they, uh, they cannot train right. You know, if you do negate it, huh? um, no, 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 this is only on side. Yeah, 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 but the problem is like we don't have any good normal like, summons. The next play would have to just be involving jets and crown. Yeah, which would cost another card in hand, which would make like the less cards you have against cards like Baron the Fleur and Savage Dragon, the harder it becomes to navigate because it's just easier for your opponent to think about what they need to stop, right? Because if you, like, the uh, simple, simplest it. scenario That's is you have one card in hand and that your opponent has a Baron the Flare, they're just going to use it on that one card and call Elephants, it a day. Trash and they are doing what I Search said, they are using the Savage to avoid the Hita from out. being destroyed. They don't Although actually want it to, to leave the field just yet because that would give them another card. I think, I think that's the best option. And the only other, like, potential oh, wait, wait, play here is, like, well. I don't know, do you crash and this, get yeah, a search? And you can crash and, and uh, fetch a Poplar. I'm pretty they sure will, Poplar they, can trigger I mean, in the damage can tip. use um, Prince of Think Grave. Still so much to, like, play through. I like the line that right? I like, just pulled like, up, right? Uh, like, just battle Unless Poplar is yeah, uh, yes, yes, accepted yes, 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 yes. damage Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Crashing is indeed the play we're going for. Uh, oh, we can't oh, we can crash, it's just more damage. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, triggering the poplar to scale itself and giving you some more room. I don't for, think they're uh, going to scale plays. itself. I think they're going to scale the flamberge, which is one of the. Yeah, it is. Uh, that is one of the best uh, things about the linker rebo in this deck: the fact that you get to protect your monsters on the sure. opponent's turn and get this poplar into the graveyard to get the flamberge back into the spell and trap zone. <laughs> no, but like, oh, okay. Like, Multiple they usages anyway. from uh, Poplar here. here, especially mid game there. So, yeah. Uh, Flambert skilled for some further advantage in the future, and we are going to try and crash into this Amblo Wheel here. So. What I do like about this game from, yeah, from Germany is that here? even though they are facing so a very turns. strong opener from Team yeah, exactly. France, didn't have any tools do do to then? stop them on the first turn, have to, have they to are playing to their can. best abilities, right? They, they, they are doing what they need to be doing still, right? Because not every game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is winnable from the get-go, but you still need to try and do what you need to do, and they are doing that, right? They, like, they, are, they have now, with this single Hida, they have forced the Savage and the Baron, which is impressive. Uh, so... 
Yeah, the only uh, thing I would have liked to have seen there maybe would just be like end of battle phase, like evenly is. Oh yeah, that would have been nice. Probably the only way they can come back here. Two more cards left in hand. Normal summon used. We still have a live jet synchron, I suppose, but that's another discard. The jet is live, but we have normal summoned, and uh, we have also used Diabell Star, so it's it's running thin on options. Of when it comes to like putting stuff onto this field and it's like the task is just so so large here like you need to remove this entire field without a battle phase and stop the follow-up and deal with what they have in hand yeah so yeah germany uh i feel like have played like pretty well like in both their games but <laughs> it's it's just unfortunate it's, right it's some it's one of those days i feel like it's one of oh, those days and sometimes i mean that is part game. of it you know yeah, that's part, part of part uh, of a game right where Sometimes, I mean, they, the talents, I mean, if they do, they maybe do. one of the best cards to have here, and they do realize, hey, we need to draw. We need I'm to draw. I'm curious if this was maybe... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think they should have used the talents to bait out the Baron Yeah, and then, and then, then crash the Hedo? Yeah, then it would one, right? guarantee the Poplar, yeah, right? But still, it's... it's yeah, yeah. You know yeah. This yeah. is where yeah. the Maxi in hand feels like uh, extra... They have the one for one as well. They have the means. Okay, this is something. They, ooh, oh, wait, do we have targets? I don't fires? think so. Oh, we have a it's jet. Just a, just a jet, yeah. Somehow it's somewhat oh, if they had another level one fire in hand, they could have pitched that for the jet first. Yeah. No, but then the jet wouldn't have been in the grave anymore. Oh, never mind. Uh, I mean, does, uh, still, I mean, still, still with princes and all the follow-up, yeah, follow yeah, it is not going to be easy. We've got this players. This was one of the draws that at least does something. All right, we are. Uh, we finally have that table uh, yeah, yeah. audio here, so uh, let's see if Lampy can give us some any uh, in indication uh, as to what their plan is. Uh, I'm wondering whether. I'm wondering whether. whether... Okay. Um. Normal, normal, right? Normal, normal. We also get a draw. <laughs> we also get a draw. Because okay. we have wanted engraved. If we get to that point, yeah. And let's let's think. Field spell? Is it ever field spell? Because field spell makes a trigger when they go princess. The problem with that is. What are you going to do with the poplar? Huh? Like, what, what's our play with this? These two? We go. Yeah, we could go Flamberg into um, reborn Jensen Kron to have two bodies on the field, and then when they re react with uh, princess. You, you get, get to summon another monster from this gun yeah. trap. So maybe yeah. it's this. But then we don't have to draw of the of the original simple spots and bond it together, you know? I'm thinking. <laughs> if, we, if we go for <laughs> the um, I'm thinking there. But yeah, uh, hopefully uh, that'll be a feature for the rest of this invitation. We can listen into the players there. So what do you think of uh, their discussion, Josh? Uh, it's an interesting point being brought up. They, they're, they're talking about whether they could maybe get the field spell here. However, um, they I wonder if they noticed it because they didn't bring it up, but they they were just talking about they can get a wanted draw if they have a sinful spell spell in the graveyard because they have wanted in the grave, but no, they didn't get to the original sinful spells card, right? So if they notice, if you go for the temple here, uh, you won't get that wanted draw. And I think they need it. I think they might need that extra card. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's probably the original Sinful Spells just to be able to use that wanted to draw an extra card. Um, and they are oh, going for the wow. temple. Interesting. I mean, it this also opens up lines here. That's the cool thing here. Because the Team France decided to let the Maxi go through. Uh, to let the called by on the Maxi go through earlier. We are not under Maxi at the moment. And we've played, we've already played through, I mean, it's actually, it's astonishing. They've played through everything. Baron, Literally everything. Savage, Effect Veiler, Max C, right? It's actually, it's quite impressive and they get to resolve pretty much everything. They haven't resolved uh, like anything yet. They can use the Poplar to scale that Flamber that they discarded earlier. So that's still going to be able to revive. The only downside to this position is that we are in main phase two. And I think here we need to talk about something that Team France did a little bit earlier ago. They used Baron de Fleur on the Hida to add, mm -hmm. which is interesting because you could have used that like later. I, I think there's a, since the Hida is not a crucial once per turn sort of choke point for the Snake Eyes deck, that Baron negate doesn't actually end up limiting them here. Like they still get to play. And here we get 
Flamberge on the field. Flamberge Engrave can already revive. We have the Jet Synchron access already, meaning we do not, you know, we don't worry about that. We can just go into our Synchro place. We're going to be able to use a formula to draw an extra card. We can use Flamberge to put... There's one really cool thing you can do with Flamberge Dragon. You can put your opponent's cards into the Spell and Trap Zone and then summon them. You can legitimately use this Flamberge to place the opponent's Baron into the Spell and Trap Zone and then summon it later. Or Princess, you know, potentially is something that they might want to go for. But the only issue with the Baron is that it has used its effect. And I think if it scales itself and then is brought back... It's... It resets. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay, right. Well, that's actually huge. But um, yeah, one final play coming out from France here as they yep. go for the Princess, popping the Flamberge, which has already resolved its effect. But, but... This triggers the, uh, the, the German, spell. The German temple, yeah. The, the, the <laughs> German temple? <laughs> the, the temple for the German team, either. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Uh, it, you know, and to have the foresight as well to scale Oak specifically. Exactly. Gets yeah, to spam a lot, nice. of, uh, a lot nice. of bodies onto the field here. You know what the biggest problem is? Is they have gone through both of their Flamberge Dragons and they cannot tag out into another one. Which means that they are going to struggle to put, like, the high levels up there. Like, they, they can't... The Oak can still tag out, but because there's no third Flamberge, I, I assume there's no third Flamberge in the deck. That's mm -hmm. an assumption I'm making. Um, that's rough. Yeah, so we only have like link plays to really yeah. try and get out and of the situation. Like th that, that would be usually, I guess, I mean, I guess we can still, we can, we can go for a Promethean Princess to bring back the Flamberge from the graveyard again. This is not over. Yeah, no, this is super, super impressive here. Going for a uh, Synchro here, and that's going to try and draw something. And I'm worried if there's like even anything left to draw at this point, right? It would have to just be more disruption I think, for their I think turn. in terms of extension, that's it. Like they, I don't think they have anything because even they, they've even used triple tactics talents this turn. Um, it's just you're maybe going to be able to deal with parts of this field. I don't think you can get rid of everything in main phase two. Uh, at least I'd be I'd be surprised if they did. And that means that you're going to have uh, your opponent is going to definitely have the means to to uh, fight back on the next turn. Ooh, Dark is another very cool card in the mirror match, and it's going to give them extra uh, link material here into a Diabell Star. Here is where their extra deck setup matters a lot. You know, is there an access code talker, which would be an easy way to get rid of two, three cards maybe off of the opponent's field? Or I is, think this the... just, is this just a means to go into your Promethean Princess? I think access is probably standard, but I'm just wondering if maybe something can be done with like a Selene potentially. If they play that, th that would yeah, be live cause, too, because they, they have they their own spellcasters. Yeah, yeah, so the thing I'm wondering about is like the attributes, right? Because if you have access code, um, you don't actually have a lot of destruction, right? It's just dark and a fire right now. It's dark, it's fire. This is intense. Yeah. All right, here we are. Oh, We're that's Selene. The table that's Selene arrows. And we are oh, with the players here. Do we have one in red? Yeah, we do. We do. We have two. So yeah, as I mentioned, uh, we are actually uh, playing the Selene, and that is the all-important uh, attribute. Go access, right? You... Yeah, the access that they're talking about here. Unless they've got a funny rank 7 play. <laughs> Tomahawk. Oh, I imagine. Keep to the level 7. Keep the one lady. 90, 90 seconds. seconds. This is unreal. <laughs> 90, 90 seconds. seconds in the dream. And mentioning as well that they are low on that timer. 90 what seconds. Pop seconds. Yeah. Um, I think we pop the Baron definitely. Because yeah. I can pop a card in our turn. But I can right. Uh, the Baron is pretty safe, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So my question is the second and third so, pops, you um, know, what are you going for? Do you think the field spell is important enough? I don't think there's maybe the, even the possibility to the yeah, Promethean Princess back to Flamberge. Because it's, it's funny because I was thinking the one card the, you definitely uh, don't pop is the Baron, the, and they popped it first. They were like, definitely the Baron. Because <laughs> I think the Baron is the one you want to use your Flamberge on. If a Link of Free or Lower Monster is this card is destroyed to contact one thing or lower monster in Eva in Eva graveyard though. Yo, Lampy out here reading these cards. Let's go. Dark or something. So this is, yeah, then we cannot pop. Uh, that's that's advanced yeah. technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not many Yugo players familiar with this, but here we are. Getting we are popping. The temple is actually massive. That's mad. The, the, the interaction between two Snake Eye temples is actually like that madness ensues when both players start the turn with a Snake Eye temple. All right, and the most important one is the third card here. What are we going for? 
So how are we getting to that? Um, Flamberge. That's oh. an important resource. Yeah. Yeah. So the Flamberge of uh, Team France's uh, has used its effect this turn, but getting it out of the scale. Yeah, is it's important. like that, that's the actually out of all these cards on the field, that's one of the scariest. Oh wow, oh, we still have a magician. God. Wow, we did have more extenders left to draw, and I think I guess this is where you try and go for like the um, the princess stuff. Um, Jet is there too. We can still do a lot of stuff. Okay. We can't do another formula. Um, do we have enough for princess plus savage? Okay, we are gonna go for savage, savage now. But first. wait, where? What's the link monster here? Is it just for one? It has to be a dark monster, right? The link can be anything. Oh, it's that's unfortunate. Yeah, you know, if they just banish the Link Rebo instead of the Dark, they would yeah, have kept two that materials. Would be bigger and it's minor, but yeah. yeah. We do they get can, to draw a card, This I guess. is a super cool interaction. Oh, we're getting between with the field spell. Savage, between Savage and Magician Souls, it's a really cool interaction, though. Okay, there's surely there's no other crazy top decks we can see We've in this situation. We've said that like three times already. I know, right? And then we drew the thing for the... Uh, uh, for the for the draw, but we've also got the Princess here coming up there's now. the Princess. Okay, so like... You know, counter maxi for like the next turn might help significantly. This is an incredible duel, by the way. This like, was they, they have great. come. Yeah. yeah. I, I just, wow. And we get to use the Flamberge here to scale our own cards, but can we get rid of the Prince? See, oh, and this is where I would have liked th to see them getting rid of the Baron with the Flamberge. But I guess with because the Promethean Princess is chilling on the board, like they wouldn't be able to. Yeah, they have to link it up. And this is weird because now. I mean, getting Flamberge off of the field, you the always want to keep that Flamberge on the board. I know, it's so important for that follow-up. Honestly, if for whatever it's worth, this game was already super impressive from Team Germany, I feel like. Because what they were facing without the ability to, to stop the opponent from doing anything on the early turns, that was a, that was a lot of stuff. All right, immediately going to use the Princess in main phase one year. Um, and I guess like a, the... A, a great top deck would have been, I, I honestly think, like, Maxi might have been their best chance here. Because mm. drawing any kind of disruption would be huge, but wow, using I like Savage. This. I like the Savage. I like the Savage because... It denies the Flamberge. Yeah. Another possibility could have been, and that was actually an interesting one, is let them summon the Flamberge. Oh, wow. And then use your own Promethean on it, because at that point, the Flamberge can't bring back two because your board is too full. Because now, I believe they knew about this subversion. It was searched with Poplar in the last turn. Yeah, that is true. And now Team Germany's um, Promethean Princess in the Graveyard does not have a fire monster to go off of. You need a fire monster on your own field to use it. Yeah, so, so they had the opportunity. Oh, no. okay. Oh, okay. My God. <laughs> Counter talents. No. Look, at some point, at some point though, you gotta say it's 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 not meant to be. I I, I don't think I don't think uh, Team Germany can really worry about it too much and they even they even have the audacity to look at their hand yeah the uh, sinful spoils that was already used on the previous turn uh it had to have been a hand trap was the only chance that they had here i think right uh do we have a link for fire what's left here this is nightmare phoenix okay we're just gonna link two actually yeah link threes can be used as one great and spare wanted last don't need it final back row here is it anything okay <laughs> cross out for i mean is there anything like it's okay. typically really really strong in the mirror match if you can afford to call flamberge dragon because flamberge does so much for this deck that the ability to you know stop your opponent from using it the problem is they don't have one in the deck they don't have it anymore mm. is that a kurikara oh okay yeah we did they also that. added that yeah one. That Gosh. is enough. That is enough damage. That and, is 87. Um, wow. All right. Team France attacking oh. for game after that huge back and forth. And it's only turn three, by the way. But yeah. so much interaction. A lot of stuff happening on that one turn. Uh, and that was that was a that was cool to watch. That I was like that. that was our best match today. 100. percent That was really really cool. And it was the Snake Eye Mirror out of all things. Yeah. I mean, that's the cool thing about the Snake Eye Mirror, right? There's so much uh, back and forth, and there's a lot of uh, technically demanding plays there. And even uh, you know playing at the highest level there, you know you were still picking up on a couple of things they might have potentially done a little bit differently. There's a lot of intricacies. Yeah. 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 You know, so you met, you mentioned a lot of cool plays there with, for example, bringing back the opponent's Baron, utilizing your field spell mm -hmm. on top of that. So yeah. 
so much to learn from this Snake Eye matchup. Uh, and, you know, I, it's exciting to see where this is going to go for the next couple of months as people start to develop and learn these uh, in-depth plays, this, yeah. these turn ones, as well as uh, the interactions between each other. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to hear from the players now, from uh, Team France, who are now sitting at a one-on-one -one record. Yep, let's uh, head on over to Ed and hear from the players themselves. with Team France who have just won that round four match. That was that was long. There was a lot going on there. You guys had pretty much dominance the whole time, but their turn took about three hours. So talk us through what you were thinking throughout that whole match. Uh, I think we had a pretty good hand, pretty good start. Mm, they did a long turn, but we were not uh, in danger because we have a lot of uh, recursion, a lot of cards in hands for the next turn. So um, they played it uh, very well, but we did uh, so much in the first turn that we couldn't lose anymore. You had so many negates and interruptions on the field that you were just ne they were never going to be able to do anything. You were up against a world champion. Was that scary? Sorry? Was it, was it intimidating being up against a world champion in that game? Yeah. Um, no, it wasn't. No? No, it wasn't. I mean, that's confidence, because you keep saying that you're the best, but now you've just beaten a world champion. That must be, you're on your way to being the best. Yes, soon, soon I will be. <laughs> soon you will be. Well, that's exciting. Best of luck in your next games, guys. Don't go anywhere, by the way, because we're going to be back in just a second. We're going to show you a couple of games, then we'll be back with our round five match. Which